Katie is saying Kanye has does have some serious issues. Yeah, yeah there, there was some like crazy stuff that happened to him recently. The uh, Dave Chappelle like flew over to his house because apparently he was acting crazy on Twitter, saying something about Kim Kardashian, uh, like leaving him or something. Some crazy yeah. stuff. I mean, yeah, he should like again. This is what happens when you become too famous. Then you get surrounded by people that want to like take advantage of this all the obsessions that you have rather than try to be, like tell you to like you know try to get you to step back and maybe get better because it's in their best interest you know f you know if if they keep confirming all these obsessions and all the like you know that you have then you would also like in include them in your because if he like if he keeps like flying trying to fly closer and closer to the sun and then he burns and he falls the people that were along the ride with him they just they're only going to get the benefit of him giving the attention and the resources but he's the only one who's going to burn and fall the mm -hmm. everybody else that encouraged them is just going to take is just going to take the all the you know all the new the extra exposure and the extra financing of everything of of helping him like you know just they're not going to pay the price for him eventually crashing mm -hmm. if he does crash and that's why it's so dangerous not to this is why this is why you need to like be surrounded with people that genuinely actually love you to like that wouldn't that won't that don't care that you're getting more exposure and you're getting more famous or that you're getting more money because they genuinely care about your own mental health. You need to have those people in your life or else, or else you're going to be taken advantage of. Yeah. A ABJ says that he heard he was suffering from some kind of bipolar disorder. Uh, doesn't know how far it's okay. I didn't know that. Yeah. If that's true, if he actually is suffering from bipolar disorder, definitely need to be careful around those because mental illness is something that really can screw with people. And mm. I did not know. He's been crazy since. Mm. I mean, it is believable based on what I know from like him tweeting out crazy stuff about him and Kim Kardashian. It is, it is kind of um, a problem that, you know, the many of the systems that we have in place um, rewards people who are just go crazy. You know what I mean? Like, this is why psychopaths make it to CEOs and presidents. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like, because for, like, out of a thousand people that just go out and do the craziest things and say the crazy things, not, you know, you know, maybe 990 of them, 99 of them will crash and burn. But eventually that, you know, the, among these 1000, they have one of them has a more has a higher chance of actually making it big than just average people that are just more nuanced and more calm and steady handed. Right. Know? Because you need, extre you know, e extreme behavior will is more likely to push you to the top rather than more subtle and more calm demeanor but even though most of them will crash and burn they will they have enough candidates to send some of them to the top you know mm -hmm. and because they bring so much attention to them than other people um they really rise faster and that's why they all of a sudden become president like trump or they become ceos or they become very successful business people not because that model works because most of them crash and burn but because the ones that do happen to work because of the attention because of the entertainment factor people give them so much attention and become big fans of them so fast that they just rise higher and because they rise higher than other people people think like oh my that model must work this this must be something to this or else this guy wouldn't be this successful they don't see the vast majority of the same people that had this behavior and burn they're like oh trump must be genius look at, he's just look at him he's like a, he has some like he's president now right how could he not be a genius he became like he started an empire and now he's president 
uh, this this is not about them. This is about the people being attracted to this kind of behavior. Like people yeah. like people are and like the masses are attracted to confidence and like uh, you know. Anyways, that's just this is more about the people and what they want to see rather than the how how nuanced or how logical people like Trump or Kanye are. No, that's true, and I think part of it is the fact that people. They don't want to see the same boring things that they see in their everyday lives. When they right. see something as crazy and as narcissistic as Donald Trump, they're attracted to that. I mean, at first, everyone pretty much hated Donald Trump. But once he started making a huge ruckus and effectively making a caricature, people started loving him. People started being so, so attracted to it. I remember there were studies conducted back then where whenever Donald Trump did something asinine, something crazy that the normal person would construe as crazy, he, his poll numbers went up. So people love this behavior. They're attracted by, to the, by this behavior. And the fact that the type of society we live in that rewards cutthroat behavior, I mean, especially in like business and Wall Street, it rewards, you have to be cutthroat in order to succeed in those fields. Those are the people that we're generally going to see at the top. We're going to see, we're going to see a Donald Trump. We're going to see a Jordan Belfort. We're going to see a Kanye. It's crazy mm. stuff. It's so bizarre that there's not some test that you need to like. There needs to be some sort of a barrier. <laughs> Psychological test. Like something before you could run for president. Like, can how about the, how can they just like pass the citizenship test at least? Like maybe that should be the list, the lowest barrier. You know, like is I mean that's not that big of a standard. I'm pretty sure that would. Citizenship, that, I mean, that'd just be like a knowledge test, right? I've never taken it, but isn't it just based on like the history of the U.S. and what yeah, the but I don't think Kanye will be able to pass. Oh, <laughs> I, no. think cut, I think it would cut out someone yeah. like Kanye. I don't know. I don't know. I, there should be something. Donald Trump would probably pass that, though. I don't know. I mean, he was proud of being able to identify an elephant. So, <laughs> <laughs> really, I didn't know this. So what was this? <laughs> the test that he passed for, like his IQ, was like, oh my god, I'm so smart, I passed oh, this test. Well, and right. you look at the question, like, which one of these is an elephant? <laughs> Wait, he, he said he passed an IQ test. No, it wasn't. A, he was like, he thought like this was a test that shows like how smart you are, but it was just like a test that just shows basic. Uh huh. Mental. Like they gave it to kindergartners. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But I don't know. So, I don't, yeah, I mean, I think Trump is just a good salesperson, but you don't need to be a genius to be a good salesperson. You just have to be confident. Mm -hmm. You just have to be like, say things and sound like you know what you're talking about, even if you don't. That's all it takes to be a good salesperson. And Trump is just naturally good at that. Yeah. Right? That doesn't make him a genius. You have he's to just play a, the game. He's just a, yeah, he's just a really good salesperson.